Hey everybody, it's Julie. Thanks for joining me here for some Bible journaling. I know it's been a while since I've made one of these videos. Lots been going on. Uh, but I'm here in the book of Proverbs chapter 27. I'm going to use some new stamp sets from Sweet and Sassy Stamps. And I am using my Misty. This is a stamping platform. And because I'm using this gigantic background stamp, uh, it works really well. I'm also I'm gonna use some embossing ink. And so first I'm just uh, trying this out, making sure I get the, the right placement. I'm using some embossing ink, which is clear. And just to be sure, I'm gonna use my powder tool over on the paper. And I'm not actually going to be embossing, I'm just creating a watermark, which just means it's it's a, a clear layer of sticky ink. And I'm going to be using chalks to uh, stick to that ink. So I've pulled that off. I don't heat set it. I keep it as is. And now I'm using some pastel chalks. Now this set I have is old, but I have linked a newer set uh, that would be comparable. It's not in these little squares. They're kind of more in bars, but it works the same. So I'm just picking up these chalks with a fluffy brush, a fluffy little paint brush, and then I'm applying the, the uh, chalk on it. These are pastels, and um, they are very chalky, but they stick to that embossing ink. So I'm getting a multicolor effect here without using different inks, just one ink, and it creates a, a very pretty effect. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on these little tags. So I'm stamping, this is um, the Bold Blooms. I used the background stamp just a moment ago. Now I'm using the actual clear stamp set, which has a few different images. So I'm using the single flower here. And I did all four colors using the embossing ink and then the chalks, the pastel chalks. Now I'm stamping some sentiments on these little tags. The theme for this page is about friendship. And this particular stamp set has these four encouraging different statements, these sentiments on um, that I could stamp on these little tags. Now let me read to you the verses that I've highlighted. Oil and perfume make the heart glad, and the sweetness of a friend comes from his earnest counsel. So that's verse 9. And then in verse 17 of Proverbs 27, it says, Iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens another. So as friends, and today's focus um, right here around Valentine's Day and around love, it's about friendship and encouraging each other. And as friends, we sweeten each other's lives and we also sharpen each other. So as a true friend, yes, we make others feel better by encouraging them, but we also edify them by lifting them up and maybe sometimes holding them accountable and uh, being honest, but encouraging them in love. So I took my four um, tags and I edged them with my black ink. I'm using my Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And now I'm stamping my title. So I've used a couple of different stamp sets here. The new Typewriter Alpha, which is for Sweet and Sassy Stamps this month, the stamp of the month. So if you order $75 worth of product, you'll get that one for free. And it's a great stamp set. It's got a the capitals and the lowercase. And then I've used one of my favorites. This scripty font is Curly Girls Alpha. Curly Girl Alpha. So I stamped those on, used my white gel pen to fix a little few stray marks. And now I'm using... These are a couple of zebra mild liner pens in the pink and the blue to match the other colors. And I'm just giving some color to the black letters there, the, the cursive ones. And then the other ones, the friends in our lives, I stamped onto some of that um, background that I created. I just cut a couple of little pieces and I stamp those on there and it just brings it all together, all these colors together. And it's like friends, they just bring our lives together 
um, again, by sweetening and sharpening us. I'm using my black pen to just uh, darken up a few areas, make it nicer and darker. And then I'm also adding in, in just a moment, right there, I added in some drop shadows to this, this um, alphabet. It just gives kind of some texture and dimension to it. Adding some more black splatters. And let that dry before you turn it over, otherwise you're going to get um, a smeared mess. I'm using my tape runner to adhere these pieces down. It's a pretty easy page. Very um, easy process, the chalk and the embossing ink. You can do it with all kinds of images, get multicolor effects. You can also just use a Q-tip to pick up the color. I like that fluffy brush. I just think it works really well. And there, I'm adding um, all of my title there. So I've got that finished. Now I'm just going to outline some of these elements to um, bring that black in, to give it some balance and contrast. And I'm outlining all the things that I glued on, all the little pieces. And I just, again, stamped those on cardstock. I'm going to take these tags that I have stamped the encouraging statements on, and I'm going to put them together. Now, obviously, um, when they're all a, in a pile like this, you can't read them all, but I'm going to make them so that they're movable and I can go through. And of course, this is all the process um, of worship, the creative part of worship that I'm doing here by um, artistically illustrating these passages. I've isolated the word friend or friends. Um, on to a tab that I punched with my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. And that was from the Forever Friends set. And it had just the right size of the word friend to make for my tab. And I'm darkening that with my letters. Sometimes your ink, I probably needed a new black ink pad. It, I don't think it's quite as vibrant as it used to be. It's typically a very vibrant one. I'm using some white thread. And I'm just tying a little bow there at the top. I'm going to attach that to the safe to the uh, clip that I put up there. I just had some fabric and a pin, uh, not a pin, um, a clip. I don't know why I keep saying a pin. And I put that up at the top, and I'm going to attach my tags to that. Now I'm using my Bible mat, just a straight edge to give a line along the edges of my page and then I'm coming back and giving kind of an imperfectly a perfectly imperfect line kind of a scriggly scraggly line around it it gives it um, more of an organic look I'm gonna attach some washi tape here with this is just from my stash I think it's actually an old studio calico um, washi tape and I put my tag there now here I'm going to attach my tags to my paper clip and that's going to do it oh I do highlight my verse over on the other side and I use my date stamper I fuss and fight with this a little bit here there we go Got that all attached, and here I'm using my date stamper, and I'm going to highlight my verses with my mild liner pen. So if you have any comments or questions about these products that I've used or about this process, then leave them in the description box. I'm going to be wrapping up the page here, and I'll show you some close-ups and still shots. I will have all the products linked that I've used in the description box. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have, I would just welcome you back, because again, like I said, it's been a while. I hope that you have a great day, and that you encourage and sharpen your friends, and that you also have friends that can encourage sweeten and sharpen your life. Thanks so much and God bless. Bye-bye.